Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for dropping in. I'm really pleased you're here. Today we're going to begin the process of making the fingerboard and getting things ready for the neck for our guitar. Now our guitar body is pretty much complete as we can see here and we'll just let that hang there for a while. But I want to show you a couple of the things I have done. This is a solid billet and we've added wings onto the end here and I have got this perfectly set and I'm going to show you how I did that right after we spin the intro. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back and now let's talk about the neck. One of the critical components on a guitar is the way that the neck fits to the body. You want a tight fit in here, you want this thing sitting proper up in here. Without that it becomes just a useless piece of wood actually. So what I have done is I have taken this adjustable square and I've placed it along here. There it is. I have that perfectly tight sitting on the guitar. The thing I want to do now is I want to transfer this angle over onto the neck. So what I did is I took the fingerboard and I, ha I keep a sample fingerboard here on hand and that is here and I position it where it's going to go up here at the nut so that I can locate the 14th fret because the, this guitar is joining the body at the 14th neck. Sometimes we do a 12, that's a different scale length. This is the 25.34, uh, 25.34, 24, 25.4 round it off, which is the typical Martin guitar neck. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I've, I've measured that already. I drew my line down the side here. And then what I have done is I placed it on here and I thought, well, I've got to tilt it because now this is exaggerated. You don't want this flat up like this because you've got the saddle down here and the bridge and it's going to raise things. It's just not going to work. So exaggerated, this is what it looks like. It's going to be tilted back like this so the strings are coming on an angle like this. Now that was an exaggerated um, tilt and if you did that it would just not work. Now what I did next and let's let's go over to the table saw and I'll turn the camera here. I took this square and I put the square over here and I made sure that I had it all nice and evenly lined up so that when I cut this thing I'm going to get one cut and it's going to be straight all the way across. So what you do and do this before you do anything. Cut a sample piece. And that's what I did here. I took a piece of scrap wood, ran it in here, cut it across, took a look at the angle that I had because I had to unscrew this and turn this. And I found that the angle was absolutely perfect. So I knew I had the right angle. The next thing to do was then to take the neck, remember it's square, and I put it here. I clamp it in place and I get this big 10 inch blade and then I run this thing through the saw coming like so and it worked like a charm. So what it does and this is really important. By the way, the saw is not plugged in. What it does is gives me a flat edge over here. The next thing I did, and you can see this here, I cut two slots. 
we have the truss rod slot in here, but I want two more slots in here. And the way I did that was to take this, lower the blade. I brought it up about three quarters of an inch. And that's about it there. I brought this across here like that. And then I just simply turned the saw on and over I went and I ran it across until I did that. And I made that cut on this side of the truss rod channel. And I did it over here as well. Now, I'll tell you why we did that. We did that because I want two pieces of hardwood in there. And I had this scrap piece of wood. And so let me tilt this camera so you can see the, the thickness sander in the background here. Okay, so I came over to the thickness sander and I ran this thing through the thickness sander until I got these two small pieces. Now, these pieces we are about to glue into here like that. And they don't have to fit exact because we're going to cut these anyway. But there it is. So the piece that I took out is now back in there. I'm not sure there that looks a little better. You can see that. The reason for that is we're going to put inserts in here to bolt the neck on and the inserts I want grabbing onto hardwood, which is what this is. This is a rosewood. And what that will do is it will prevent the mahogany, which is softer than the rosewood, from that insert ever pulling out and separating the neck. Because, you know, some of these young guys like to get the guitar and bend the neck and do all of that kind of thing, which puts all kinds of pressure in here. But with this in here and it glued in place and screwed against the hardwood because it's threaded, it, it makes it for a better join and helps the body transfer the vibrations from the neck into the body of the instrument. So that's what we're about there. Now, that is why I have all this heavy equipment here because I needed to run this piece of walnut that I had through the jointer here to square it off, which I have done. Now I've got to figure out how I'm going to resaw this because I want to cut a piece out of here, which is going to become the fingerboard. And then we'll slot it and we'll shape it and we'll, we'll, we'll just have some fun getting that all done. So that's where we're headed there. I have here another jig, which you use for measuring the slots and cutting the slots on the fingerboard. And we're gonna use this jig on the table saw. So we're back to jigs again. And just when you thought we were all finished with the jigs, we are with that top jig there that we made last week. That's all done. So we're going into something a little different and it's gonna be a lot more fun. Well, that's it. This is a short video. It's a dusty video because it, there's sawdust in the air here everywhere and I really am worried about the camera. So I will get that out of here and we're, we're done for today. Thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Hit the bell, get notified and everything is good. I've got links down below. We've got a tea with Monty coming, so please send in your questions. Oh man. I love English breakfast tea. And I do want you to know that you'll see in an upcoming video at some point, we haven't done it yet, but I'm going to somebody's studio who likes to drink coffee and I'm gonna teach him how to make tea. Oh, 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 that's a video that's probably gonna go viral. Mind you, he told me I have to drink his coffee. Okay. Everybody has to make a sacrifice in life. Stay safe, wash your hands, don't congregate with a whole bunch of people, stay indoors. If you're feeling the sniffles, don't go out, don't go to work, stay at home and stay healthy. We'll see you in the next video.
goodbye for now.